good Saturday morning, everybody. It's Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic. And today, it's the first of the month, so I got a guest in here. And once again, it's my good buddy, David Germain. David, how are you? I'm still very fine. Now, let me... Uh, we I didn't mention this uh, the last two uh, times you were on the show. Um, um, but uh, you have a blog. That's part of the reason why I'm, I'm interested in you. Yeah, I've been running for yeah 12 years now and it's a great it's a great blog it's it's uh well, thank you very much it's uh you know it's it's a little bit like the bible maybe not very factual <laughs> but a great read nonetheless and it's been around forever <laughs> yeah. what what is the name for the for the people listening what is the name of your blog um where can, uh, they, it's where can they find it dmgermain.blogspot.com dmgermain.blogspot.com and um and yeah, and you you seem to be, as far as I can tell, dude. You're like, you have probably the most up to date information about uh, Rod Scribner. You're uh, you had some you you got some you got in touch with some members of his family, didn't you? That uh, uh, some guy who knew him back in his later days. Yeah, and there's some great pictures. So uh, eventually, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, David and I will be working on. Uh, I've been wanting to do these for a while. These these animator profiles, and since Rod is my favorite animator of all time, uh, the first animator profile I'm going to do is Rod Scribner, and I will definitely be uh, tapping the resource that is Mr. Jermaine. Oh, thank you very much. So this is. Scribner uh, didn't work on this one. Yeah, no, that's true. You can you can definitely tell there is an absence of uh, of Rod, of Rod yeah. Scribner in this, but it is a great cartoon nonetheless. And pasted. And I bit of a theory about this one i think this is uh making fun of joe mccarthy and his uh his un-american activities uh <laughs> crusade yeah i'm thinking like you saw elmer fudd at the beginning there you know throwing the firecrackers for the fourth of july yeah i think that kind of i guess symbolizes joe mccarthy and the ants symbolize i guess the american citizens you know, negatively affected by that. Yeah, I never considered like overwhelmed that. by his patriotism, and so now the ants are doing what the Americans should have been doing at the time. You know, fighting back. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe uh, that's theory, though. I'm definitely not a, a smart enough guy to <laughs> to sign off on that or not, but it does definitely have a political uh, angle to it. I mean. I well, this yeah, this is the time when you know Joe McCarthy's uh, his wrath or what do you want to call it was really like, especially like attacking Hollywood. Yeah, and now it you know it, it shows you just how far we've come because now Neo McCarthyism is really just the belief that Jenny McCarthy's right about <laughs> vaccinations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, this cartoon I remember from. Um, from way back because I had it on a, a video cassette. See how old yeah. I am? It was a <laughs> it was a, a VHS called um, the Looney Tunes Video Show Number One. Volume One, yeah. I, I still have have a copy of that. Yeah, I yeah. I, it just just I remember <laughs> I remember feeling like you know when when DVDs came out, I was looking at all my VHSs. I was like, well, I'm gonna be getting rid of these. Nope. Because Warner Brothers uh, has a very, Warner Brothers has a lot of uh, cartoons in its library, and uh, you know, just putting out five DVD, you know, four D disc sets each, it's not even scratching the surface. So, hold on to your VHS copies, kids. You never know; sometimes they could be your only copies. But uh, this cartoon, the one thing that um, I never saw in my crummy VHS copy that I that I do see now that I'm looking at this on my monitor and everything and it looks a little bit more crystal clear is that um, that shot in the beginning when, when uh, Elmer's just sitting there asleep, you know, and and they uh, they throw the first uh, firecracker at him and it lands on his nose. Yeah. I, I couldn't see for the longest time that in the circle that surrounds him, there's ants standing there looking at him. Oh, yeah. I couldn't for, you know, for you, like, I just discovered it last night while I was making this little, you know, thing for the commentary. I was just, I, I was like, oh my God, there's ants there. I couldn't see it before. 
<laughs> Setting up a perimeter. Yeah. Yeah. Love this gag. <laughs> Elmer just regurgitates all the water. I was so worried about that happening when I was a kid, actually. I was like, I always uh, took the uh, the glass. I never drank straight from the, the water thing because <laughs> I've seen. Is. Yeah, well, we all know. It could, and I love how he doesn't even like light them anymore. He just starts throwing them angrily. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting frustrated. Yeah, understandably. Understandably. These, these ants are making him look ridiculous. I will say this: I never understood the uh, what the the title of the cartoon "Ant Pasted." I don't know what they're making fun of or what the it's a reference to. I think there's a, a an insecticide called ant paste. Or, oh, really? So, yeah, I, I, it's like the you know, sheet of paper with sticky stuff on it, and the ants walk on it and get stuck, or something oh, like, like fly that. paper. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. <laughs> Elmer, it is not going well for you, Elmer. <laughs> oh, they're gonna take you alive, all white. <laughs> and then here at the end, there's um, the last shot of the cartoon is some amazing animation by uh, effects animator oh. Harry Love. Oh, Harry Love! Okay. Yeah, when uh, when he explodes and they're saluting the uh, <laughs> the fireworks. American colors, yeah. Yep. Right here. This is all Harry Love. Yeah, really nice. Patriotic man. <laughs> and a great cartoon. All right, David. We'll see you next month, and we will see you folks next week. <laughs>